In my last tutorial on the Google Firebase database, I explained how to send a sensor value from the Node MCU ESP8266 FireFam module to the Google Firebase database. In today's episode, we are going to make the same exact thing using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. This is the same exact company that created the ESP8266 series of chips modules and development boards. ESP32 power supply PCB board used in this video is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. As this is a getting started tutorial, I will try to keep things simple so that you can easily follow this tutorial. I'll be using a variable resistor or potentiometer as the sensor. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, circuit diagram explanation. Number two, how to set up your Google Firebase database account. Number three, ESP32 Firebase programming and finally number four testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Let's first start with the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This is the same 5 volt regulated power supply I have been using for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. J1 is a female power jack, and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery, or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5 volt pan of the ESP32 module and the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground pan of the ESP32 module. This is the ESP32 power supply board manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the PCB quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. The power supply PCB board designing and soldering is already explained in my previous video tutorial. I will provide a link in the description. Finally, I connected a potentiometer with the analog pin is zero of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module as per the circuit diagram already explained. Our hardware is ready. Now let's make the Google Firebase account. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music.
Our Google Firebase account is ready. Detailed explanation of each and every step is explained in the article. You can find a link in the description. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website, electronicclinic.com. This is the same exact code I used in my previous tutorial based on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This time I did a few changes as per my new Firebase account. The circuit diagram, libraries and code can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this basic project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. Thanks for watching.